Hi, welcome to this video. We are going to talk about two things. And the question we have in our head is what's the difference between arch merge and arch merge with a D? So if you go to archmerge.com, you'll see that we have an idea with uh, our system, a vision with arch merge. And we want you to learn and have fun and enjoy arch merge and here you see we put it up the latest version 6.0.9 from arch merge it's called merge because we have uh, open box we have i3 we have xfce and they're all merged together so we can use them on one system and if you're bored or you know everything and you say look uh, it's time for me to learn something more i've seen all of this and i'm gonna log off and i say look i'm gonna try open box and even try i3 which is a little bit more difficult because because mainly because it's keyboard driven because it's an awesome uh, os it's great or desktop environment it's a tiling window manager and here the, all you have to know in open box is right mouse click is your savior because there's nothing up there there's not, there's nothing down there there's plank active but you need to know that it's right mouse click and then you have i3 that can log off as well and um, everything is, is set here everything is uh, themed all the icons are there all the applications are there everything is just running it's a lot of um, things that are hidden actually in the control h in tunar a lot of things are hidden here so um, yes people ask is this a rolling release we could agree for a yes but we could also agree for a no because this is your personal configuration folder nobody is going to update those but they are filled packed with all kinds of updates that we make and that's only coming out of the ios if we're gonna make some installations some inf some changes in i3 it's gonna be on the iso it's not gonna go with an update it's that's not possible it's not gonna um, change things, the fact that the, the open box settings are in here. So it's gonna be on the ISO, not uh, with any package updates. We update open box, but these are your configuration folders. And I don't think you would like me to change your personal configuration files. So no, we're not gonna touch those. Um, so the dot config is where I uh, put the magic in, where the uh, the, the hidden treasures are, for instance, uh, Termite has here 79, no, uh, indeed 79 uh, different kind of colors just to show a terminal. Okay, so we're still in I3, so I pressed super and then enter. Maybe we should, should point out here, read these, you know, read the configuration file of I3 because these are all shortcuts, but it's just a hand of shortcuts, handful of them. It's just all in here. So we have to read this one. And maybe Super X as well, tell you that already straight out of uh, the video. So you know that you have to press these things here to log out now and go back in. So that's Arch Merge shutdown. Okay. So then what is Arch Merged? So this is a lot of effort, three desktop environments and um, a lot of tuning. And what's this then? Start. I've installed the latest version and the only thing you'll get if you boot into it is uh, a black screen. A great, beautiful, minimalistic black screen. And that's it. This is what you have and this is what you will be using as a base see it as uh, building a house like on the lego maybe you've played with lego you got this red plate on which you build your house and that's what it is it's just an arch base what does it provide already it provides a lot of xorg stuff it provides drivers for your ati or nvidia and stuff like that but not the nvidia propriety drivers that's something else but you'll have a graphic display in a few codes five lines of codes and you have for instance uh, budgie or cinnamon or plasma and so on so this is 
your base installation with some networking because I want to be able to get to GitHub. On GitHub, you can put all the scripts you want and you build upon them year after year and you fine tune them and after 10 minutes time you have the same fine tuned system that you love and that's the idea okay so the big difference is the one is all tuned arch merge and arch merge is all stripped no firefox no merge no no google chrome no genie and so on and so on so it's a very uh, minimal system it's there for you to choose now your desktop it's there to choose now your display manager uh, MDM GDM the LightDM and all that and um, then it's up to you to, to choose applications Genie um, you like uh, GIMP or um, Inkscape well install whatever you want use the packages from the AUR uh, use the packages from Arch repo it's uh, up to you to decide what you install now and I'll work with scripts just because that's just fast because I want to test and test and retest so it's much faster to write all these things down sudo pacman minus s firefox and put those lines into a text file and then say execute the text file that's a script okay so um, that's the main difference if you want to go to phase 2 and phase 3 then you need arch merged and then eventually we'll go to phase four which is going to be an arch way um, installation and you'll notice that in an arch way you'll have less packages than in an arch merged Be just because i have to make sure that all the network drives are there that all the xorg uh, drives are there and uh, i do have also some nice stuff like bash completion like a reflector to get nice mirrors so if you type mirror then it's going to look for the fastest mirror in your neighborhood stuff like that there's there are some minor changes but just for convenience sake like g part it is there stuff that we are gonna miss if uh, it's not there but actually it's it's quite minimal so that's your difference and enjoy